Let's start with a new chapter today. The name of the chapter is application of derivatives. We already know what is continuity, differentiability, how to find the derivative of few functions. We've also seen that if it is difficult to follow simply the chain rule or simply the quotient rule, we know that some complicated questions can be solved using logarithmic differentiation. There is also a category of implicit functions, differentiation and so on. A lot has been talked about differentiation. But why did we actually compute all these things? Geometrically or in some other manner, does differentiation or finding the derivatives has some usage or does it have some applications? So this chapter is known as application of derivatives and will be concentrated over the applications in various categories of derivatives. So enlisted are these four important applications of derivatives. We basically use derivatives for these four things that we have written. And you will see that slowly and gradually we will take up all of these one by one and so the chapter will be completed. So let's talk about the first application. Rate of change of quantities is found. It says that with the help of derivatives we can easily find out the rate of change of quantities. In order to understand more the next questions, the next videos will be concentrated on some questions which will be using the concept of rate of change of quantities only. So you don't need to worry about it. The first application which is also the basic of application of derivatives is regarding the rate of change of quantities. The next is what? Equation of tangents and normals to a curve. Suppose a curve is given and you need to find out the equation of the tangent or the normal or both. All these things can be found out using the derivatives. So that is a very important application of derivative. It says that equation of tangent and normal to the curve at a point can be found or is found with the help of derivatives. The third application is to find information related to the maxima or the minima. Again we will be studying about this maxima minima so you don't need to worry. This all four points will be easily covered in the chapter gradually as soon as we uh, start with the videos, you'll be seeing that we'll be covering the first and the second and later on the third and the fourth application too. The last but not the least is to find intervals in which a given function is increasing or decreasing. Even this is a topic under increasing and decreasing functions, we'll be studying it. Very interesting topic, you need to find out the intervals wherein the function is increasing or the function is decreasing. So four major applications in calculus for application of derivatives you are going to study. In the successive videos we will be starting with the rate of change of quantities and problems based on it.